A sniffer is a software or hardware tool that allows the user to sniff or monitor your internet traffic in real time, capturing all the data flowing to and from your computer. Watch on to learn how sniffers work, what they're used for, and how you can protect your data against sniffing attacks. Sniffers aren't always bad news. In many cases, administrators use sniffing tools to maintain a steady flow of traffic through their networks. They can detect bandwidth hogs, such as anyone making heavy use of file sharing programs, and then take appropriate action. The word sniffer, with a capital S, refers to the trademark name, now owned by Netscout, of one such monitoring tool. But if you're asking what a sniffer attack is, you're probably less concerned with legitimate applications of sniffing technology and more with how someone might be using that technology against you. These devious little programs go by a variety of names, network probes, wireless sniffers, ethernet sniffers, pack, packet sniffers, packet analyzers. But no matter what you call them, they all get up to the same mischief, eavesdropping on you. Sniffers get the job done by capturing and inspecting the data packets traveling along a network. Imagine internet traffic like real-world traffic. It's like a series of cars driving on a road and it ebbs and flows depending on a variety of factors. On the internet, each car is a packet and the people inside are the data it carries. Some sniffers are available as hardware appliances, often built directly into network devices such as routers for convenient management, but in most cases, people opt for sniffing software over hardware. When first created, sniffers were and still can be very helpful tools for engineers to manage their networks. Because they allow administrators to view all the traffic on a network, they can be used to diagnose issues and assess performance. How do network admins use sniffing software? First, it's important to understand how internet traffic generally works over a network. In most situations, your computer will only investigate packets that have been specifically addressed to it. Reaching back to the cars driving on a road metaphor, we can imagine your computer as a house along that road. You wouldn't need inspect every car that drives by your house, but if someone parks in your driveway, you'd likely be inclined to open the door to see who it is. This is how your computer treats most packets of data. It ignores the ones going along the network to other destinations while inspecting the packets that are sent to it. Sniffing software adjusts a computer's network settings so that it sniffs every packet instead of those just sent to it and copies them all for later investigation. Rather than answering the door only when someone comes to visit, the sniffer is glued to the window watching all cars as they drive by. Our window sniffer might obsessively monitor every car, or they might choose to investigate only trucks or red cars or cars with at least three occupants, or maybe just motorcycles. In other words, a person using a sniffer in unfiltered mode can harvest all the network's traffic, or they can configure the sniffer to filter packets containing a specified type of data. Skilled technicians place sniffers inside a network to tap into its traffic and track what's being sent. You've probably seen at least one movie in which a crafty detective puts a tap on a suspect's phone line and listens in as they discuss all sorts of nasty business. Sniffers are essentially the same thing but for the internet. Here's a short list of people who might make use of network sniffers. Network engineers, by analyzing the type of and level of traffic on a network, engineers can use the data to optimize their network structure for efficiency and speed. System admins, network sniffers are amazing troubleshooting tools. Sysadmins can dive into bottlenecks or other slowdowns as they're happening to examine the issue. Employers, IT technicians at a corporate office may use sniffers to monitor their employees while at work. Employers can learn about the websites their workers are visiting, how much time they spend there, and whether they're viewing or downloading anything they shouldn't be. Security professionals, unusual traffic amounts or types can indicate that everything is not as it seems. Security teams can identify atypical internet usage patterns that may indicate the presence of a hacker or malware. Network sniffers aren't only used by good guys, unfortunately. Cyber criminals can tap into a network and help themselves to all the traffic sent through it. By monitoring internet use, including emails and instant messages, a hacker may be able to access login credentials, insider information, and financial details. 
That's why sniffers can be so dangerous in the wrong hands, and there are plenty of free sniffers available online. Music to a cyber criminal's ears, unfortunately. Cyber criminals will use social engineering tricks or phishing scams to fool their victim into downloading their sniffers. They may steer targets to infected websites that automatically download the sniffer when visited or send emails with attachments that can install the malicious software. Alternatively, hackers can sniff unsecure public Wi-Fi networks, ensnaring the traffic of anyone who uses them. Wireless sniffers are especially popular in spoofing attacks as the cyber criminal can use the data captured by the sniffer to spoof a device on the wireless network. We've covered what sniffers can do, but how does a sniffer work? There are two main types of sniffing techniques, passive and active sniffing. The type of sniffing technique used depends on the structure of the network one is trying to sniff. Passive sniffing works with hubs, but if switches are involved, active sniffing is required. Hubs are simple networking devices that connect several devices together into a single network. There aren't any regulatory mechanisms that steer traffic to its intended recipient. Rather, all traffic devices receive all the traffic and then determine whether or not that traffic is relevant. Because all devices in a hub receive all the network's traffic, a sniffer can easily and passively soak up everything that's being sent. There's nothing to actually do other than sit back and sniff. That This makes passive sniffing very difficult to detect. Not impossible, but difficult. As you connect additional devices to a hub, the higher levels of traffic can get overwhelming. Network switches are the solution to this issue. Switches regulate traffic within a network by sending data specifically to the device that is meant to receive it. A passive sniffer on a network hub will be able to see only the data going to and from its host machine. This is where active sniffing comes into play. In order to access all the traffic passing through the network, an active sniffer needs to get around or overcome the way switches direct everything. There are a few different ways to accomplish this, but all of them involve injecting additional traffic into the network. This is what makes it an active process and what differentiates active sniffing from the passive variety. The upside for potential victims is that an active sniffer is easier to detect because it gives its own presence away. We have reached the end of part one, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for our next part and let us know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.